welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning back in so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my full face routine um, this is kind of what I've been doing every day um, it's quick and easy and I'm also including some of the products that I mentioned in my last video which I am absolutely loving alright guys so to get started I am going to start with two of my favorites right now and it's the Benefit Professional and the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, the reason that I use two primers is because this, I don't really consider this a primer. This is more of like a pore minimizer for me. And this is the only thing that I found that really works for me that I can honestly vouch for. So I apply this first and I just apply this right here on my cheeks because that's where I have the worst pores so I'm just going to put that in my face and then I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown this stuff is bomb.com so just with my beauty blender I go in Ooh, it's cold and I just apply it all over my face as you would any primer I am obsessed with this stuff it's so good And a little bit goes a long way so as you can see i bought this not that long ago and i use it every day so just hit my eyeball okay next i'm gonna go in with my foundation now my favorite at the moment is my giorgio armani luminous silk and this stuff is bomb.com so I don't really like too much coverage for daytime, so I'm just going in with two pumps and I'm going to just dot it all over my face. And I am in the shade 5.5 and it is a tad bit darker than what I normally use, but it's not good though. So I'm just going in with my beauty blender and I'm going to blend that all out. And as you can see, that lovely little red issue that was going on in my face has somewhat disappeared. I want to make sure you distribute it evenly along your face because you don't want to be running around looking all types of crazy and drag it down to your neck I cannot stress how important that is because there's nothing worse than that line of demarcation between your jaw and your neck I like to color correct my under eye area I have a lot of dark circles under there lack of sleep love it so I go in with my Anastasia contour kit um, the contour cream kit and this is the medium one and I use this orange color right here and I just tap that right under my under eye, bring it up to about here, and then drag it back down. So for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Um, freaking love this. It is really, really heavy, so a little bit goes a long way. I don't really need any... Where was I going with that? Why did I think that was going to work? So I'm just going to go in and wherever I applied the orange concealer, I'm going to go in and drag it down, put my concealer in, and then just drag it down a bit. Then I grab my Beauty Blender and my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and I spray my Beauty Blender down with that, and I just start to blend out my concealer. Now granted, this color is a little bit too light, um, looking back, I should have gotten the next color up, but it's all good. That's what makeup's all about, trial and error, but I do love the consistency of this concealer, however, you definitely want to set it because it is really, 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 really creamy, so you don't want to risk looking like you're oily. 
I mean, no matter what concealer you use, you should still always set it. But this one especially. Now I'm going to go in with my powder, and this is my Studio Fix powder. How cute is that? I'm broken now. And my Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm going to just set my foundation before I go in with my powder. Especially my forehead. My forehead tends to get so oily. It's so gross. So now I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Absolutely love this stuff. So while that cooks, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia brow powder and I'm just going to fill in my brows, which I'm letting grow out by the way. And if you know me, you know that I've never been successful with this, but here's the trying. Okay, so now that the brows are on, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe all this powder using a big brush and that just immediately brightens up your face now that we are cooked by the gods and i'm just going to bronze up my face using this shiny f14 brush so now i'm going to go in with the contour side of the um, Kat Von D brush and I'm going to grab this color right here this is called Shadow Play and I'm going to dip my brush very very little into Sunbury and I'm going to just Give myself a little powder mustache. And pretty much what that's doing is just going to give me a much sharper contour. And it's going to play up that dimension in my face. It's called reverse contour so love to do that then I'm going to go in with some blush I'm using my NORS Orgasm did I say NORS? what did I say? NORS Orgasm blush which broke like all my powdered makeup has been breaking since like December I don't know what's going on it's like somebody wished bad makeup karma on me bastards so I'm literally just working with what I got so I can get some more. So I'm just going to add this onto my cheeks. I love this powder. Did you guys notice I went more blonde? My Blonde Dyrexia um, video will be up next week. Yes, Blonde Dyrexia to Real Disease, look it up. Um, where I give all my products and everything that I've been doing with this hair. The only reason that I'm not doing it this week I'm parched. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only reason that I'm not doing it this week is because I'm still trying out like some products that I'm kind of seeing if they're hit or miss before I give them to you guys. So I'm still doing some research but I promise you the video will be up next week. I found a good combo that I'm loving for my hair. So, yeah. And this is my favorite highlighter right now. This is by MAC and it is called Lightscapade. The reason I love it is because it's a really iridescent color. Um, and it has like such pretty, it's got like some golds and some silvers and some pinks and even some blues, which I love. I don't know if this is still available, I think. Was it this one or Perfect Topping that was limited edition? I think it was Perfect Topping. I think this is a regular, but whatever. Either way, this is a MAC 128. And I'm going to take this hair out. 
And because I have that blemish right there, I want to avoid bringing my highlight down to there because that's going to be much more noticeable. So I'm going to just tap it along here, go around that blemish, kind of just really focus that onto the high points of my cheekbones and then I'm going to see it right there. So I'm going to do the same here. And I'm dragging that down a little bit into my contour. And I'm using tapping because if I stroke back and forth, it's going to mess up everything that I've done. So, And I like to kind of give it like a little circle around my contour as well. So that's highlight number one. Yes, honey. We're gonna use more for my last act we're gonna go in with my champagne pop from becca cosmetics another one of my favorites and this morphe fan brush that amory c put me on too <laughs> have you guys seen the video of Bretman rock by the way if you don't follow him you have to follow him he is hysterical like i literally cry every time i see his freaking videos He's like, ooh, ooh, and I can so relate because I got tired every time I put some highlight on the on. <laughs> and my lip and my nose. Honey, <laughs> stop it. For my lips, I have been loving this little combination over here. Let me just grab it. And it's, um, three lippies well two lippies and a lip liner so it's Lolita number two by Kat Von D and this matte LA girl flat finish pigment gloss and I don't really know if these have names oh yeah okay so this is the LA girl matte flat finish pigment gloss in um Juni and then my spice liner by MAC which you guys know is one of my absolute favorites of all times like literally brush just in that because mom uses this every day okay so I have relatively full lips but I like my lips to appear bigger because why not And then because I do have my eyelash extensions, all I'm going to do is run a spoolie right over them if I could find it. Or is my spoolie? I'm going to use the spoolie end of my Anastasia eyebrow brush just to brush through those. And that is it. So this is my full everyday face routine. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.